Hey y'all, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. This is part two on my grip review of the Air Force Texan SS308. And this is available in multiple calibers. Guys, if you have not seen the grip part one on this one, I recommend you go check it out. But this one is all about performance. Let's grip it. quick I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out guys www.gatewaytoairguns.org www.gatewaytoairguns.org So before we move back to 50 yards and do a 50 yard accuracy test I need to find out which type of ammo the Air Force Texan SS in 308 likes the best. So I've got some JSBs um, I got some Predator JSB, some H&N Sport slugs, as well as some Nielsen Specialty Ammo slugs. But for 30 caliber, I'm a little limited. I don't have a whole lot. So I'm going to do with what I have now, but I am going to go on a search for more 30 cal ammo so I can do some more testing with this. But at 35 yards, because I cannot bring myself to do a pellet test of a big bore air rifle at a measly 25 yards. So at 35 yards, the ones that shot the best were the Predator JSB 30s, um, the 44.75 grains. The Hades did absolutely lovely as well. They weigh the same exact as the other ones, the 44.75s. And then the H&N Sport slugs, they were okay. They didn't do great, they were okay, but we'll test them at 50 yards anyways. Top left target. 1,142. 1,102. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to top it off again so we're getting the same results um, every time. Okay. To the right. 1,173. 1,152. That must have been a flyer for real because the Hades in the other. Mm. That must have been a flyer because the Hades previously, I mean, they were like one on top of each other. So I might shoot an extra one. So that was odd. 1,135. Hmm. Shoot one more and see if it winds up in the same place as the other two did. If it did, maybe the first one was a little... Maybe I filled it too full. So, not as good as they did at 35 yards, but still not terrible. Whatever you're hunting. Is still going to be a goner. I still think that's a fluke. I still think they'd probably do the same as those ones. But kind of makes me want to shoot one more group. <laughs> Which, sure, why not? Before I shoot another one of the Hades, I'm going to go ahead and do the slugs. Um, so we can finish that off. 1073. Hmm. Yeah, that was off paper, and I'm not surprised. Those ones didn't, they shot okay at 35 yards. They weren't great, but I figured I'd try them back here and see what happened. well at 50 yards. Hmm. I mean, that's within an inch and a half, something like that, so it's not terrible, but <sighs> I really thought they'd do a lot better than that. I'm a little surprised. I really thought the Hades would have done better than they did, but the favorites are the Predator JSB 4475 dome top pellets. 
Now before we do any more shooting, let's talk about this trigger. I'm guessing it's around a two pound trigger. So let's find out what the trigger meter says. The first result was two pounds, 2.8 ounces, and the second, one pound, 13.9 ounces. That's pretty close. It's nearly a two pound trigger, which is not bad on a big bore air rifle. All right, so next up, next questions to be answered are, how many shots per fill? What kind of velocity are we gonna get from shot one to shot whatever? And what's the accuracy gonna look like followed up with, <laughs> followed up with the max velocity as well as foot pounds of energy? So how many shots per fill? At shot one, I got 1,166 feet per second. And then halfway through at shot nine, I got 1,020. Now, this shot string only shows 17 shots. I actually got 18. Um, one of them was not picked up by the chronograph. So my very last shot, shot 18, I got 909 feet per second. It definitely has the big bore dive like I expected. Now. The accuracy from shot one to shot 18 was pretty good. The last three shots, eh, you might be better off thinking or going with a max shot count of 15. As far as max velocity, I don't have hobbies in a 30 cal. So <laughs> we've got the 4475s. That's the lightest um, type of ammo I have in 30 cal. So the max velocity is the same as the first shot, 1,166 feet per second, which gives me about 135 foot pounds of energy. So definitely a hunter. So next thing to find out about the Air Force Texan, is this backyard friendly? I can tell you right now that I did use EarPro. I had my ATN X sounds because it does have a little bit of a bark and I would like to keep my hearing up to par as long as possible. So. It is a little loud. Um, I have no point of reference as far as the original Air Force Texan in 30 cal. So I'm going to do the testing over the DB meter. And you guys, if you have a point of reference and know what the DB meter says on your end, I know it's going to vary about like with the environment that you're in and that kind of stuff. But maybe we can get some kind of an idea or you can get some kind of an idea of the difference. Um, so let's go ahead and move on with it. At the muzzle, I got 105.4 and 103.4 dB. So yeah, it's a little loud. I wouldn't consider that one backyard friendly. Now let's put the dB meter at my perspective. From the shooter's perspective, I got 102.1, a little quieter from where I sit. And the next result was 103.5. Okay, well, maybe not by much. Okay, let's move it down, down range, 20 yards to see what the neighbors might hear. 20 yards away, I got 100.4 and 96 dB. So it did quiet down 20 yards away. So the neighbors or the hogs or whatever you intend on hunting with this guy is not gonna hear it quite as much as you do, but it's still, I wouldn't consider a backyard friendly air rifle. Next up, offhand. Up to the 35 yard marker and clay targets it is. They are some of my favorite things to shoot. They're so responsive. Nice. Got it. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. Got it. Beautiful. There we go. That was gorgeous. Did you see that splat? That was definitely a fun offhander. On to cons and pros. Are there any cons? Well, I am limited on ammo, but I guess that's not really the gun's fault. I should have planned better. The only one, it's a little loud, but guys, it's a big bore air rifle. It's a serious hunter. They're generally, they've got a little bark to them generally. So not really a con kind of to be expected. So that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the pros. As I was saying, this one is to be considered a serious hunter, not a backyard plinker. It comes in multiple different calibers and all the calibers it comes in. Yeah, I would still consider it a serious hunter, though plinking in your backyard or out in the woods, at the range, wherever you might be, is definitely not against the rules. Shooting should be fun, right? And we need practice. We need trigger time. Trigger time definitely helps 
to become a better shooter. From the simple yet adjustable butt pad to the tank as the stock, it has the pistol grip, uh, the two pound um, adjustable trigger, and the easily accessible manual safety right in front of the trigger, the push forward cocking lever, which at first it's kind of odd, but once you get used to it, it's actually really, really sweet. Um, it is a single shot. It has the dovetail rail. I know the dovetail rail sometimes could fit into maybe the con section, but <laughs> we won't go there. Some air guns have them, some have picks. I prefer picks, but this isn't about me. Again, let me remind myself of that. Okay, so we have the um, raised dovetail rail for an optic, um, the little comfortable small forearm for a nice grip. It also has an accessory rail right here. It is a dovetail as well, but you can get adapters to fit to your pick um, accessories to the dovetail rail. So it also is super, super moderated. It has a rifled and extra shrouded and moderated barrel. What else? It's accurate. I would love to have more ammo to test in it, but I don't. So with what I have, it shoots really well with these three at 35. It shoots fantastic with the JSB 4475s at 50. So I am pretty sure there are plenty more types of ammo out there that will shoot beautifully in the sky. And I can't wait to try it out. I guess that's pretty much it right now. Oh, and it's putting off plenty of power, plenty of velocity. It does have the um, tuner so you can adjust the power. Um, so definitely another video coming with this one. I guess that's about it, guys, for my part two on the grip of the Air Force Texan the SS. Don't let me forget the SS. SS 308. If you guys want a different caliber, there's options like 257, 308, 357, 457, 510. I mean, they have lots of options. So the Air Force Texan is a great option for, I would say, mostly serious air gun hunting. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much, Pyramid Air, for sending this to me to be a part of the GRIP program. If you guys want to find out more about this guy or its brothers and sisters and all those different calibers, go check it out at www. I just gave you the W's. Oh, well. PyramidAir.com. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns. Thank y'all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Now, this shot string only shows 17, 17 shots.